All right, welcome back. Uh, we have the grand finals of the 70 star GSA um, qualifiers. Uh, today we got the two Germans facing off each other, Wilco and Guy and I. Um, should be a really close race, especially, uh, hopefully not as close as the one we just had, but it'd be pretty hype if it was that close. Yeah, that one was absolutely insane. I don't know if I could handle another 20 minutes of <laughs> intense waiting. Yeah, that is probably the closest SM64 race I've ever seen, at least. Probably 0.2 seconds off. Yep. So this is a best of one grand finals match. Winner goes into the league. Uh, loser goes home. That's it. It's the uh, classic, classic finals match we got here. Absolutely, and as both runners prepare to start, it looks like they're both ready. Both safe files are deleted. So we're just waiting on them to give the go-ahead so we can get everything started. All right, countdown starting. And immediately there's going to be a time difference because Gainai is using the Japanese version. I don't believe he has a American cart, so... It's going to be a slight disadvantage there. Yep, he's going to appear to gain the lead at the beginning, but we'll, we'll end up losing time through all the text boxes. And we're off. Both players have started to watch the exciting, exciting intro. Lack of two <laughs> traveling around the yard. But, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping this is going to be a nice back and forth. Gainai's race was also super close. Not as close. I think he won by, it was like 10 seconds. Basically a, a Bowser throw. Yeah, he before. made a, he made a comeback there, didn't he? he I, I, I think so. Yeah, I didn't catch all of Tippy, but I saw him. He was behind for a lot of the race. At least. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I missed the beginning, so I don't know exactly how that started off. But yeah, I know they traded back and forth to the end and... He ended up pulling it out, but both of them are now out of the pipe, and we'll get on to the lack of two skips here at the beginning. Hopefully As... the runners should get this, no problem, yep. Yep, they did. Yeah, most of the runners, or races, I mean, have had like one runner miss it at the very beginning. It's actually been pretty interesting, considering the high level of all the racers. How much time difference will the Jap cart make? The American version? is actually three seconds faster for 70 star so it appears faster at the beginning but the text boxes and other smaller factors um, make the difference yep and both of them get bomb clip first try guy and i doing it a bit faster i believe so trying to make up that time difference he's gonna end up eating up so as both of them will enter in Pizza's slide, do we have any guesses in the chat <laughs> as for the slide time? I'm gonna guess they're gonna get two 12 sevens. Nice and safe guess. I'm gonna guess 12 six and a 12 nine. Let's see how it turns out. And I'm looking pretty fast. Oh, we got 12, the 12 seven. seven. And a 12 six. There was okay. a 12 six Okay, Wilco. The race is pretty much decided. <laughs> that was it. Guy and I's gonna take <laughs> it. But both of them beating out our perceived expectations of them. But Womps will actually see more than nerves, some trickier tactics and strats gonna go on, especially with 100 coin. Yeah, Guy and I actually had a really nutty Womps earlier today. I wonder if he can replicate that. I think he had like a 639 Womps, which is yeah. pretty pretty insane for a race. Absolutely, yeah, I did see that as well. He was on insane pace all the way to upstairs, I think. But Guy and I going for Candleless first, grabbing that first shot. We'll go get an Owlless first shot. Yeah, I didn't catch if Guy and I did texture setup or not, but if he did, that would save by two seconds. Yeah, I don't think I was either. I was 
looking at Wilco's screen and then just saw the gun I had gotten the star. Yeah. That was more interesting to watch, for sure. <laughs> Can I get that? Wilco is doing the the texture setup. Yeah, it's kind of a slow grab, but saving a little bit of time at least. Yeah, it does, definitely doesn't want to mess that one up. So both should be doing hundred coins now. Let's see if anyone misses the cycle on this. Yeah, neither of these guys are gonna go for the faster variant of this route where you get the line of five before the ring yeah i, I don't think anybody in yeah I don't, I don't, done that. I, i've seen some of a couple of guys got both lines of five at the beginning for the slower yep that's half cycle. Yeah, for half cycle yeah so i think wilco had some movement there and he just decided to get wild blue which is a good idea but yeah. it, it, it can be dangerous because you can accidentally, it's pretty easy to accidentally grab Wild Blue during this double jump kick. Yeah, exactly. But I have heard that the backup for it is, isn't as much time loss as you would imagine it be. It's about missing, same time loss as missing Cannonless or Owlless. Yeah, yeah. If, if you didn't get, if you didn't get it before, that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like what he just did, yeah, would be like missing Owlless essentially. Yeah. So Gainai is taking the lead on this, but Wilco isn't too far behind. So as Gainai does have to go back in to get that wild blue. This is a best of one, correct? Yeah. Best of one winner takes all. Wouldn't have it any other way. So, Wilco not getting all the necessary coins before going up to the last row, but not too bad of an area. Yeah, just minimum time loss. We'll both be, be going up to take care of this big Womp who's an issue. Yep, he's actually bigger on the Japanese version than he is on the American versions. So. He has a little bit bigger of a Womp. Yeah, I think both of them are going to ground pound through it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that actually saves time versus going off the edge or if it's just preference. Uh, I think it's, preference. It, it's just preference, yeah. Yeah. You, you can actually ground pounding through it can mess you up pretty big if you miss time the ground pound. But yeah, you can kind of end up inside of them and it gives you a weird pushback and, and loses a few seconds. Yeah. Both, yeah, both of them not running into that issue, getting it pretty easily, as expected from these top tier runners. And guy not getting a really nice top of the fortress. Here we go. So he's finishing up at, at 6:42. So super good pace. Yeah, that's another really good start from guy. I think Woka is gonna have a pretty good start on his own. 6:54. Yeah, looking to be about 12 seconds behind. So just to recap, Gainai's PB is a high 48, and Wilco's PB is a, I believe, a mid 50. I don't remember the exact number, um, but Wilco is definitely capable of a better time than that. Um, and Gainai has just been one of the fastest improvers in Super Mario 64 in, in recent times. So it's, it's a pretty good matchup out here. Yeah, absolutely. You should be expecting a bit of a back and forth, as pretty much both of the, the semifinals were. So hopefully the grand finals will be something similar. We'll see a, a bit of a battle for the lead, especially going into the basement and in the upstairs. It's always really enjoyable to see a battle at Tippy. see how oh, the yeah. nerves take place. <laughs> We've had three or four matches where, I mean, runners were less than five seconds off from going into Tippy. I believe. So it's been it's been a wild day. If if you haven't been here all day to watch it, it'd be worth watching the vods on YouTube when they get released. For sure. 
These races have been insane. Except mine. I, <laughs> I had a really bad race, but it's fine. I don't... I think yours was one of the ones that I, I missed. Because I know I didn't I didn't cast it. That yeah. Just... Uh, uh, it, I will go beat me in the first round. So. Okay. Yeah, that, I think that was one I didn't cast and I had to do some stuff in between. So I doubt you actually did that, but <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't finish. So. I did pretty bad. But I'm not racing right now, so yeah, just here to have a good time. <laughs> Got I get in the the shig cycle there. We'll go taking a bop from that amp. Oh yeah. So probably gonna be getting a slow cycle. Let's grab a normal. Or yeah, normal cycle. One slower. Luga and I probably extending his lead just a hair from coming out of what bombs. It's probably closer to 15 seconds in the lead now. Didn't notice this, but the timers are. Goku's timers stopped. It is. I wonder if that's. He, I thought he said he had the auto splitter, yeah, so might, I wonder if that's some kind of glitch. Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell later on exactly how far apart they are. I wonder if it'll come back online. If it's just going to stay that way. But, but Gainai jumping out of Dark World pretty much exactly at 10 minutes. Yep. His, his fade out was yeah. just under. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the timer. So now they're going to be using this wing cap they just got in order to grab this box star on the floating island. Yep, the star is not hard, but it's very annoying if you mess it up. Yeah, the uh, essentially the the cannon structure there that you triple jump off can eat your triple jump and then you you just have to run all the way back or do some sort of backup movement but both players getting it quite nicely not going to showcase that one for you <laughs> thankfully <laughs> so they're going to be making way into ccm pretty sure everybody's done the ccm 18 routes today i haven't seen any double pillow lists. Everyone's trying to take it safely, but with this being the grand finals, you know, maybe somebody's willing to, to step it up, gain a, a three or four second lead off of it. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm missing the, the platform down there on the back of the ball kick. Yeah, got a pretty decent backup though. Yeah, not too big of a time. Thankfully. Else. We'll go opting to do the penguin star first. Some people say it's better for races because you can actually die on wall kicks will work. What Guy9 did first, and there's a text box at the very beginning of the stage, and so you can end up losing an extra second or two. That's yeah, that's correct. If you die, the text box is the text box is still there, so you get the text box twice if you die. So what goes turn? looking good for him so saving a few seconds there closing the gap as guy and I is definitely opting to do the ccm 18 route we'll see what wilco is trying to do it looks, looks like, like he's doing the same mm -hmm. so no variance variations in route both of these players just want to Nice and consistent run, no un unnecessary mistakes. Let's see. I'm not sure how exactly how far apart they are. Let's see, the guy and I was 12.41 out of the painting. About 10 uh, seconds still. Yeah, just at 10 seconds. So Wilco has gained a, a few seconds lead out of Dark World. Close the gap a bit. Let's see how these 100 coins go. As long as nothing major happens, they should be pretty much at the same time. Guy and I did grab that uh, backup coin. Yeah. So Wilco doesn't, so as long as 
they can both finish this slide. It'll be a, another couple seconds over to Wilco. Oh, wow. I didn't think Wilco got that top coin going into the chimney, but he did. That was really close. That would make the slide really scary because then it would be coin perfect. Yeah, not missing oh, one. And he just one. missed one. <laughs> so he has to get all the coins from here. She gets those. He's he trying to mess fine. with them. After the coin arch, it's, it's pretty easy to grab them all. Uh, penguin's right on his tail. Very quick turnaround. So, nothing major happened here. Wilco did get in a few seconds just because he didn't grab the backup coin. But both players finishing the slide. No real issues whatsoever there. Yeah, so you see on some of the stages where unless you die, it's you don't lose that much time usually. Um, it's it's considered one of the easier stages in the whole game. Um, so getting yep. through it cleanly is just nice. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely true for 70 star. So we're gonna be grabbing a couple stars over here at BBH. This one's pretty much the same. The biggest thing that could happen is you fall off this, this ledge, this balcony, when you're fighting the, the big boo. Other than that, it's just very tiny, maybe bonks here and there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to mess up a wall kick here, but again, that's like half a second to a second. We're going through the wrong door, uh, which messes up the camera a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been, and I think you get some extra lag as well going through different doors. Yeah, it's actually so left doors uh, have a faster opening animation. I want to say it's by 0.3 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure on that exact number, so don't quote me on that. But left doors on double doors have a faster opening animation, so you generally want to try to go through those. Yep, as we see Guy and I do right there, both going to be grabbing these other balcony stars. The behind the bookcase stars, but we don't see any bookcases or anything. Not when speed running. <laughs> that Guy and I does have his cam on, it's just pretty dark in his room. <laughs> you can see his orange hoodie sometimes. <laughs> just an outline. I think it's illuminated by his TV. So, Guy and I entered the basement at 1614. Looks to be about, still about 10 seconds off from each other. So, no real time differences between those two stages. SSL is probably going to be the the biggest look we're going to have if there is any change. Ooh, Wilco with the punch grab. Saves yeah. about a second versus diving. It's a lot easier to punch grab the Smiths on the US version. The. The, the first MIPS on US version is slower than the Japanese MIPS, and then the second MIPS you get on the US version is the same speed. Um, they made it easier for <laughs> American people to catch MIPS. But Ghana gets a really nice Tom Plus um, first try. Uh, yeah, Woko so has to throw the bomb away. I think he got medium bomb. Wasn't liking it. I know Media Bomb is a lot harder to get. I don't mm -hmm. know the time differences between just throwing it away and actually going for it. Uh, it's... As... I'm not sure. I know you can get like... Let's see, 17 or 18 with a Medium Bomb Tama Plus. Um, and you get like 13s on regular Tama Plus. Uh, yeah, so it might, be, it might be worth it in the long run. But, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, Wilco did get that, that big bomb second time around, so not losing too much time there to Guy Nye as he is finishing up top of the Pyramid Star, and Wilco has the Talon Star to grab. Nice play by Guy RNG. It's very rare, but sometimes the, the Fly Guy can do a, a dive, and I'm, not, and I'm pretty sure it's RNG. But it, I mean, it just completely ruins the the setup that you're going for. Uh, yeah. 
I don't I don't think it's completely RNG. Um, if you go too far to the left on the pillar, it you uh, like you enter in the trigger? yeah you enter in the shy guy's like trigger to attack you, so it moves closer to you. Um, if you go on the very right side of the pillar, you avoid that trigger and you can long jump over there. It can still mess you up sometimes, um, but it's a lot less rare. It's a lot less common. Good to know. So both of these guys are going to be making their way into volcanoes. Ooh, that's a weird angle for Ooh, yeah. Messed up Lava okay. Beast. He was Good able back. to get up onto the elevator there. Let's see what Wilco is. Oh, Wilco, oh, Wilco is missing die. it too. Yep. So that's the worst place to mess up Lava Beast because you're already halfway up the lava fall and you can't really back it up. <laughs> yeah, you just have to fall all the way back down. But luckily you do spawn back into the volcano once you die. You don't have yeah, to do it, it minimizes the entire the thing. Loss, yeah. You don't get the star select screen or anything. Um, you don't have to do the movement back to the volcano, so it's not too bad of a time loss. It's just really annoying. Yep, Guy and I getting it the second time. Very nice from him. We'll go kind of going a bit crazy with this star selection. Typically you'll do stars in pairs, but he has not been doing that. Yeah, LOL is like... I'm pretty sure LOL has the most variation for star orders by runners. Uh, you see all kinds of star orders. Some people do reds and some people do it in pairs like like you said, um, some people will just do completely random star orders. It's yep. all preference. So we'll go taking care of the, the triple bullies here. Guy and I only having two stars left. I believe he's going to be doing the same. He makes his way over there. Very nice triple bullet kill. Here we go. We'll go going back into the volcano. Needs to do the elevator star. Think. Kinda of has wing cap left. Which she is gonna do now. This final is his best of one. Not best of three. Look off and the, the double long jump movement over your reds. Yep, bit of a safer strat. He did end up grabbing the ledge there. Yeah, it's a weird ledge grab. Not really see that usually. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, Guy and I definitely took the lead a bit further here in Lethal Lava Lands. We'll go yeah, was see. taking that death in the volcano. So 2205 DDD entrance from Guy and I. Let's see what we'll go gets. So it's going to be about 15 seconds difference. A little less. Yeah, yeah just, just under 15. Yep, so so anybody's has, racing now. Yep, Ghana has extended his lead from CCM just a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised he's not a little further ahead with the, with the death from Wilco. But he, I mean, he also did miss the lava boost. He just backed it up with the elevator. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think if Guyna messed up anything else in the world that I didn't see. But I, don't, I, don't I think, think his I think his reds his reds were a little spicy. I think he he jumped in the lava at some point. Oh, okay. So, both of them trying to take care of DDD. Not much that goes on in the stage. Mostly just rhythm swimming and 
slight movements that can affect a few seconds. Yeah, swimming is... It's something that if you neglect, it can lose a ton of time on um, by not taking proper lines in the water or anything like that. Um, but like, uh, there's not too much time you can lose here unless you get trolled by the manta rings, which can happen, but as long as you have good movement, you should be able to get the line of uh, the first five rings all the time. Uh, it's just after that you can get kind of trolled by the hitboxes. Yep, absolutely is. So we'll see Guy and I do now, getting the first two. Very nice. Next ones are pretty free. So, exactly one Mana Ray Star in the lead. So now we have one of the most important stages in 70. Sorry, in my opinion, Fire C. Uh, this is where a run turns into a run. Um, it's it's pretty make or break. Uh, if you don't get lava boost early, at least you lose a significant amount of time. Um, but for races, you just want to have as clean as possible uh, fire C. Yep, absolutely. You can live with a. Oh, okay, that was a really bad uh, pull grab. I don't think we'll get boost at least, but you can get an uh, early cycle at least. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Uh, yeah. Oh, just barely missed it. Hopefully, you can still. You go should, fast. Yeah, you should still be able to make this. Might need a wall kick, yeah. No, oh, but he went no, for the dive! Has to wait for the others to go all the way back up. We'll see how Wilco does. Clean movement so far. I didn't see him make any mistakes beforehand. Bully trying to get in his way. I guess he did make a mistake. He's not going for the, the lava boost. He focused on Gainai. But is going to make that fast cycle. Yeah, so I was saving. Uh, I don't remember. I want to say, so it built like 15 seconds? Yeah, well, one. I think I and I got the good movements. He got the side flip. So I, I think it's close to like 8 to 10 seconds. Yeah. It's still a, an extremely close race. Wilco was able to catch up just a bit there. Let's see how far apart they are after this going into the upstairs. This is also the, the ballast throw that you just don't want to miss whatsoever. Using yeah. something like 13 seconds. Yeah, it's the most costly throw to miss because of the stage um, going up and down. Yep. Oh, and, oh, and we'll go miss. Yep. 2620 was what Guy and I faded out at. Yeah, it's an unfortunate miss from Wilco. So he's probably going to be something like 25 seconds behind. No, actually, more than that, like over 30 seconds. We're going to gain in that lead. See if he can maintain it. Going to the upstairs. Wet Dry World 100 coins. Not getting the, the double box break there. See how the, the Skeeter RNG treats him. Pretty nice, right, in his way. Look out of the slate. Really dusty dive going up to the door. I think he had a slow get up on the dive, which is interesting to see. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. You hate losing time to cast movement. It's like one of the most avoidable things, but yeah, it's hard. Like it's like the least practice thing, because nobody yeah. to practice it, and then they mess it up, and becomes a problem. But Wilco not doing 100 coin first. Going for the wall kicks. He gets up there without any issues. I think the biggest thing about that trick is just jumping on the wall at the right angle. Because it doesn't let you jump up to the, the star if you've got a bad angle, you're facing away from the right platform. So 
let's see how well goes. 100 coins goes. I don't know if Gana had any huge errors on his. It looked pretty solid. Yeah, it looked pretty clean overall. Didn't see anything major. Pretty good Skeeter RNG for Wilco as well. Does miss one of the coins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got one coin to miss on this route. If you miss another one, you have to get a backup box. You can't get this wall kit through. <laughs> Struggling a bit. Can I clean up his wall kicks in the cage? Oh, uh, ooh, he needs that coin. Yep, yeah, gotta go back time. for it. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. Yep, yeah, Gana, I definitely see him a good amount of time on that 100 coin over Wilco. Definitely, yeah, I couldn't get the, the wall kick for the box break. He falls back down. Not sure if it's if it's the nerves, because he should be well warmed up having that race. He just happened. You can't really blame anyone for having nerves on a grand tournament finals. like this. <laughs> yeah, grand, grand final single elimination. That's basically all it comes down to. And, and the bracket's really only half the story, because they had to go through a, a group stage prior to the bracket. So Gaina is finishing up in Wet Dry World. Wilco having the shocking airless star left. He's got two stars left. Oh, does he have two? Oh, you're right. He does have two. He didn't get the, uh, the top of the town. Yeah. So he's he's much further ahead than. Gaina flying on these secrets. Let's see. Nice. Uh, pretty much perfect secrets. Really good secrets. <laughs> a lot darker than Guy Nice Part of Germany. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there it is. The face back out. You'll, you'll see him in spurts. <laughs> yeah, the star select screen <laughs> where it's all just white. <laughs> Kinda just some really solid movement here in, in THI. Not losing any time, not giving Wilco any space to catch up. But still anybody's race, he definitely hasn't run away with it. He's just built a really nice cushion for himself. Yeah, I'm not sure on the exact time difference, but it's, it's getting up there now. Nothing a tippy can't take care of. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> See what Gano's THI stage exit time is. See what it is. 31.58. Yep, 58. Okay. That I'd... he's got still has two stars to go. He's probably somewhere close to a minute behind. Yeah. Good round clip though. Here we go. So stress is about half a second versus just going around and crossing the bridge normally. It's a lot harder though. <laughs> yeah, it is, and especially if you get caught in that water at the top, you can. It's not even yeah. worth it. Oh yeah. But definitely a swag strat. And guy and I looking like he opted into the the side flip into the that star. Maybe yeah, his, his angle think, was bad. I think he ledge grabbed by accident. Um, and at that point, that side flip is. It's free. So yeah, he, ha he had an interesting camera. I'm not, I'm not sure if he does that normally, but it's just not what you normally see. I didn't even see Wilco's time exiting. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't paying attention either. 
No, it, it is over a minute though. Yeah. Yeah. It's 107 per minute. Okay. I believe that. But yeah, Guy Knight not making any mistakes on his mountain clips, getting them both really well. Gonna be taking care of the last hard star here, which is the red coins. Oh, Ooh, Wilco just missed it. Couldn't quite back it up. Yeah, Almost that back that wall kick. Yeah, that backup's pretty cool when you get it down. That was a pretty solid red from Guy Knight. Yeah, no major mistakes. Pretty safe reds. Yeah, you can just look at a hold. TTM reds is one of the stars you can lose a ton of time to if you mess up. The lag is really bad there. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of dumb invisible walls too. Yeah, some weird geometry going on. Yeah. Oh, Wilco ledge grab too. Interesting. One of those kind of days. Yep. But it looks like Guy Knight gains even a few more seconds, assuming this is Breeze Star goes as planned. Yeah, I wonder if he'll attempt Breezeless. No. Yeah. No need to risk it in, in this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Just gotta play consistently. Fake sync. Mysterious Mountainside Stars. Yeah, but Ghana is already done with Tall Tall Mountain, making his way over to Snowman's Land. Let's see how the top of the Snowman's head goes. Oh, got the ledge grab skip, but slid down. Yeah, it was looking really clean. Oh, but the rollouts. Not, not sure if he was trying to roll out or, or what he was doing, but did back it up kind of nice. Leave some room for Wilco there. Wilco yeah, finishes up his eight coins. Yeah, Wilco's going to need more of those kind of mistakes. Let's keep piling on. Wilco's need to pull out some secret strats nobody knows yet. <laughs> oh, but Guy and I bopping. Yeah, it looks like Wilco missed log wall kick again, so he's going to have to go for it. Third or fourth time. Fourth time, I think. Oh my oh, gosh, he can't again. seem to get it. What's his backup here? He's got to reset He doesn't up have one. one. He's got to yeah. reset up the clip. That's not what you want to see. Nah, he, he probably <laughs> should just go run over to the log, just jump across it. But oh, oh no! Hold back or press Z there. Here we go. Not sure have, what he's doing. Does he have eight coins? No. Yeah, yeah, he does. What's... He's going up this way, I guess. I, I don't think this is the play, but. <laughs> this, yeah, this is some really. Unfortunate events unfolding here. Just having to run all the way up to the top. Not even wanting to attempt it anymore. Yeah, Guy Knight's gonna be a whole snowman's lead ahead of Wilco. Yeah, plus the, uh, plus a little bit of castle movements. Yep. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Looking like Guy Knight is just kind of securing his lead here. But there is there is the tippy to to be dealt with, and as long as Guy and I can hold his nerves and hold his position, he should be set up for success here. Yeah. Not trying to count Wilco out though. We we're messing up the uh, the movement there on Snowman's head. Just gonna be grabbing the star as a backup. Guy and I talking to this toad. Toad saying, Oh, hey, Mario, I almost forgot. I have this really important detail. Nice and easy star. Easiest star in the game. 
So Woko is getting that snowman's head star. Some pretty solid movement there. I don't, did he try to jump all the way up or did he just jump over the, the wall? I didn't catch it. I saw that he did, he, he was next to that igloo, so. I think he just jumped over there. I don't think he, he went for the slide. But again, I already in HMC. Gonna be probably going for this triple box jump. Ooh, not quite getting the angle what he wanted. He already got the triple box jump. I think he was going up there to do uh, amazing emergency exit. Okay, I was must have missed it watching what Wilco was doing. So Chris's miracle was his back up there. Got that one first try. So it's looking like he's a solid four and a half stars ahead. Right now, currently, in this HMC. Yeah, it's a pretty significant lead for Ganai at this point. Yeah, we'll see if he can calm his nerves. And Wilco, Missing not able to catch the MIPS, he's got caught up on the wall. It's a bit of a fortunate movement there. But Ganai having one star left in this stage. Let's see how the Boulder RNG treats him. Looking pretty good. Yeah, they just cleared the way for him. Here we go. So, and that's going to be it. Ganai's going to be leaving HMC as Wilco enters. Ghana is on a pretty really pretty good run right now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he is, I uh, it's probably gonna be a low 41 walking into upstairs. Yeah. Um definitely 49 pace. Yeah, so it's not that Wilco has really done that bad. I mean the the Tall Tall Mountain was probably his, his biggest mistake. That's where you're seeing most of this lead come from. But, I mean, he, he is being compared against a, a pretty crazy run from Gainai, who hasn't made really any major mistakes. The biggest one was probably Fire C when he missed the, the fast cycle. Uh, yeah. Uh, besides that, it's probably Snowman's head. Yeah, Gainai has not given Wilco much opportunity to come back. Yep, so extremely solid play from Gainai. While we're explaining that, getting the Lakitu bounce, first try, no issues, even with the second half. Yeah, it's, it's a huge relief whenever you do that. Lakitu bounce isn't that hard of a trick once you grind it enough, but it's always, it's always looming in your mind whenever you run up the tippy. It's like, oh, okay, you just get Lakitu bounce out of the way and then focus on the rest of the tippy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially because once you miss it, there's only a, a, a few backups to do, and each time you miss it, it just kind of weighs on you. Yeah. So, very nice to get that out of the way, for sure. Here we go. But Woko is still maneuvering over in HMC, trying to get the Christmas Miracle, trying to find a way back into this match. Gainai is just holding position. Doesn't want to give anything up here. Going for right side. Those tricky triangles. Very clean movements. So Wilco is done, is going to be walking up to meet Gainai upstairs in Tippy, but it is, is going to be, again, a full stage ahead, Gainai is. Yeah, I want to say the lead's about two and a half minutes at this point. Mm. Yeah, just, just over two minutes, I think, 
Gunai was just over 41 walking up. I think he was 43, 20. Something like that. So, some good time to be made up. But with TTC coming up and with Gainai, with these 100 coins, if he does take a death at the end of 100 coin or something, then, I mean, that lead is going to shrink significantly. Mm -hmm. And 100 coins starting off not great with that coin RNG, but yeah. get it together. movements to get that triple jump wall kick. So you can get this one, which he does. Just cruising through these hundred coins. Oh, as soon as I say that, he falls back down. But not looking like he's he's really going to be giving anything up as far as major mistakes. Yeah, some movement flows, but like, uh, it's pretty much all you can ask for in a race. It's a really hard start, so you, you take not getting invis walled anywhere, losing more than 10 seconds in any specific spot. Uh, yeah. You take those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good, yeah, cheeky triangles, right side. He's getting through those quite nicely. Gun I do tote last. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, Gun I did not do early toad. Ooh, missing the triple jump to the pillars. Or clippers. So sorry, goes for here. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> taking a bonk to his death. This could be the start of an opening for Wilco, as as he has made short work of Rainbow Ride, meaning he's going to be just a little bit more than a hundred coin behind on this TTC route. Guy not letting that fall get the better of him. Roll out into the cage. Very clean movement. Not looking to give up any more time. Wilco on his TTC 100 coins. Who does miss the, the triple jump there. Back it up. Got not getting the triple jump onto those flippers this time around. Gets bought by the pendulum, but not a big deal. We'll go having some pretty clean movements to, to catch up here. It's probably going to save a few seconds if you can keep it clean. The guy now has got to give him some kind of bone here. Gave him just a bit of a hint with that death. Here we go. Looking like super clean movement from both players in TTC. We'll go. Looking to gain any advantage you can from the mistake from Gainai. Gana not trying to give anything up. Yeah, Gana has been solid since that death. I think he kind of uh, reeled it in. Didn't let it tilt him or anything. So that's nice to see. Definitely so. Just take a big deep breath. He, I would imagine he knows how far ahead he is. Most of the runners have been kind of keeping an eye on the stream. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he... Takes a look at the stream right now on that one basis. Mm -hmm. Which I, I personally think is probably a better strategy than not, because you can kind of tell when you need to go for some more risky strats and when you need to kind of play it safe. Yeah, so I don't think I can 49 anymore, but a low 50 is on the table. It's a really good race time. Definitely. Ooh, and Wilco missing the kick, but does fall down into, into 
into his other star. Yep, that's exactly the reason why you don't get that star before the wall to the cage. It's a really nice backup. Yep, I forget which runner it was, but we... I think we saw somebody... Get uh, use that as a as a backup. Yeah, I think it was Madronich. She used it as a backup and then ended up falling down there again and was yeah. much new. Alright, so guy is in bits. Let's see how difficult he makes this. I'm assuming he'll get to go for the pull part of the speed kick up the gap. Yeah, he's okay. cruising. Okay. Going for the left side? Yep. Standing. Oh no, Ooh. it fell. <laughs> Just take the Baku, falls all the way down to the, the plank. Uh, I'm thinking he's probably just gonna take the pole now. Let's see. Yeah, Nisa, whatever he feels comfortable with, you know, some kind of safe movement here. He's, he's got a, a pretty good cushion still. Yeah, let's take the pole. Get the race over with. And Make it drag out any longer than you need it to be. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Making some room for Wilco to come in here. Yep, yep. Alright, third attempt to, to get to the end. Yeah. Having some difficulty on the TTC Reds Guy and I finally making his way over into the pipe. Wilco does still need to talk to Toad, so. Hey, can, yeah, Guy and I can get a 50 here. Let's no. see if he pulls it out. And that's one throw. And he's got two. There's one more, and he's got it closed out. Some nutty re grabs there. Really good, really good fight. Extremely good Bowser throws. That's gonna be it. Yep, Guy's gonna take the GSA qualifiers um, with a 50, 53. So huge grats to Guy and I. Um, huge grats to Loco as well for making it this far. Uh, not an easy thing to do. A lot of really good runners in this bracket. Yeah, absolutely. There was so many good races today. Definitely worth watching the VODs later on. Wilco's probably going to finish up his bits right here. Yep. Finish it out. Let's we'll see what he gets. I like it when runners finish out their runs. I do understand where, you know, if you're so too far behind, you can... You just feel like, you know, there's no point. But Wilco is taking a fall there. Yeah, I'm a, I'm of the fan as uh, might as well finish it. 51 minutes in out of 52, so yeah. close <laughs> enough. Oh, the triple wall kick again. Can't get that left side. I think he goes for the pull this time. I uh, will see. I don't think he will. Yeah. Maybe not, especially if he knows that he's hasn't won. Yeah. Third time's the charm. Yep. So Guy and I will be taking a spot in the GSA 70 star season three season. Can't believe it's season three already. It's crazy. Um see what time Wilco gets here. Looking to be on pace to get a low 53. And while he's doing these throws, guys, don't forget that we have Pace coming up. It's just a few months away. Tickets are available for sale. I believe they are still early access. Uh, $50 a ticket right now. They will go up. But please find details about that now. Make travel arrangements, buy tickets. Do anything you can to get out there. Pace 2020 is going to be a good time. Yeah, you all should go. I'll be there. It should be a really good time. Can't wait. Alright, I think I have Mars joined for comments uh, for interviews. Most likely. 
welcome guy nine into the 70 star league but still an amazing race from wilco getting a mid 53 is no easy task especially with nerves of a final tournament Yo, bullet thunders in the chat what's up guys Ooh. good race no gg guy nine gg wilco yeah ggs to both of you um so again i guess we'll start with you how do you think that race went and are you excited to be part of the 70 star season three league coming up of course um the only thing is that i'm like by far the worst in the league so i don't know about <laughs> performing well but i don't know if I'm that's true if you, can, you can get consistent 50s you have to really uh, get to that. i don't know about that you kind of need like 49s and <clears throat> d1 yeah i mean i think you've proven to be one of the fastest improvers so i think you can improve and be competitive in the league i peaked just gotta just gotta push through it man i think you can do it yeah um now wilco uh congrats on making it to the finals um not an easy thing to do with this bracket uh no, thank you. um what'd you think about your run um I don't know. I think the first half was pretty alright, but I saw that guy and I was like quite far ahead. Yeah, and I think yeah, you think were pretty close up until I think TCM it kind of came off the rails a little bit, but yeah, no, SSL was still pretty close. I don't remember. I think you died in Lethal Lava Lane, right? Yeah, I died, I died in Lava Boost. Oh yeah, um, yeah. We we found that I actually didn't lose too much time because we think you also. Like, failed the lava boost, you didn't die. You backed it up. But that was probably like the main difference. So it only ended up losing him like five or six seconds. Hmm. Uh, I had like the the stream on the side and I couldn't really see Gaina's webcam. But then suddenly there was like something white flashing when he had like a really <laughs> big grin. And I saw that he finished TTC 100. So I knew it was over. Yeah, you like, can see. I was it. like, okay, TDC 100s. If I get like an endless wall, or for him, I mean, then maybe <laughs> there's a chance. Yeah, you can see Gana's face get illuminated whenever <laughs> Star Select screen was out. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize how dark it was, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I assume Gana, you'll be doing 70 still, or are you planning on doing any 120? Uh, I'll just do whatever I feel like. Some 120, some 70. <clears throat> nice. I know. I know 120s at your heart will go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go back to 120. I heard there's like two thousand dollar prize pool for the 70 star league, but it's like a 10k bounty for 120. So maybe I should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta set priorities. Yeah, but yeah, starting on uh, on Monday, I'll be doing 120 again. I'm looking forward to it, and then hopefully next season i can qualify we'll see yep. but yeah kinda is far better than me so he really deserved it it's a great show you guys put on uh really really fun day of races i really enjoyed the uh the whole bracket in one day made it really hype yeah i had fun yeah absolutely okay. you got any well, other questions you got mark no, I think that's about it. You know, GG to both of you. Congratulations, Guy and I, again, on making it into the league. Uh, excited to see more. I 100% believe you can definitely improve a bit. You know, like you said, get some consistent 49s down and, and make it yeah. a, make it a really nice 70-star league season three. We'll see. All right. So I think that's going to take care of it for tonight. Um, I believe... Is it tom I don't know what day uh, the Celeste um, matches are, but I... Oh, Celeste is done. Okay, never mind then. Super Mario Maker 2. Um, A week from tomorrow. Next yeah, Sunday. Super Mario Maker 2 qualifiers next Sunday. So you guys can tune into that for some Super Mario Maker action. Uh, but I believe that's going to be wrapping it up for today. Uh... Uh, yep. My name is T Hags, and yep, my name is Marknator99, and uh, thanks for watching.
Thanks, guys.